he stepped out fully, so we attack first, so we don't miss damage, it might be relevant. Now we discard the portal, and we go invasion. And now the portal is here. We can also get Mirex, but I will go with the portal this one time. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today a deck that you probably did not expect. We'll be playing a reanimator with Toxril the Corrosive, Kaya Intangible Slayer, and of course Portal to Phyrexia. The card responsible for a lot of scoops today. So uh, we have a pretty classic reanimator deck. We have seven reanimation spells. We have seven great targets for reanimation. One thing to consider, Cruelty of Geeks, while amazing and has multiple chapters, it can get back only a creature. So Toxir, basically. We also have two drops, but we want Toxir. Invasion of Torvada is much more versatile. It can hit everything, but we can only hit four of them in the deck. So we are forced to use something more. And you can always use chapter two to find Toxir or the missing piece of the puzzle. So something to remember about this deck. Uh, however, our discard synergies are really strong. We have Guardian of New Benalia, Raffin Informant, Restoration of Eganja, and Celestus. All of them are very nice at discarding cards very often around upkeep because the garden of new benalia can discard at any point also before this resource for example chapter 3 from cruelty of geeks which means their trespasser won't exile it if you play it smart and that's a huge deal because there's a lot of sorcery speed exile effects but you can play entirely around this which is huge uh, with early game and mid game you have a lot of briefing room so with four mana sweeper you should be able to survive most of the time against aggro if you hit the right cards we have triple mirex so we have a fair shot at winning against control decks anyway and we have a lot of threats they need to answer still. So, uh, we went 5-5 five, five in pretty high mythic so yeah I'm pretty happy with this one. We definitely want to see creature decks more than anything but that's great because standard is mostly creature decks. So guys I hope you will enjoy. If you appreciate trying to hit the reanimator with Toxir in really high mythic uh, don't forget to subscribe like on the video and don't forget this bell icon it helps you see all the new uploads and we are trying to make a cool deck every day with you know varied success but i hope we are trying to keep it fresh for you so really appreciate it if you're subscribed liked and uh, yeah let's go into the games because they were pretty interesting all right we are going first that's a decent hand so let's see how it goes uh let's so we have guardian which is kind of white aggro so we will play swamp you know so he thinks it's tenacious underdog on the next turn Maybe it will be different for some reason. Probably not. Alright, so it will be the depopulate game. We go with Guardian into Restoration. Sorry for that. Forgot the priority is here. Alright, I actually don't mind uh, enchantments. The Kami will be problematic a little bit. But with Guardian we have a lot of time. I will definitely play Restoration of a Ganjo. No questions asked here. Uh, he might draw a card with the uh, with the depopulate. However, if we get into Toxir, man, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, this would be absolutely epic. We of course don't need to attack. That's not the point. I don't think we'll use Chapter Two here even. No way he has audacity. I'm sure he has. They always have it. Of course, easy, absolutely easy. Alright, ossification is great for us. In all honesty, it's really good. The only thing you need to be fearful with uh, Kalix is that they copy their, their value. Alright, so we can depopulate and on the next... Yeah, we definitely want to depopulate right now. Uh, do I want to go with this one? That is interesting. I want to sweep, but all I care about is this knife anyway, right? Then I can discard... I think it's a good it's a good deal. This way we use the chapter and we don't need to pay an extra mana. Hmm. We are not guaranteed to hit stuff. Let's go with Toxir of course. Alright. I could win, wait one more turn theoretically. But then I lose a Ganja, and that's not what we want. So he will draw a card, it's still good for him, but if he doesn't get Naturalist after the sweep, it means 
<laughs> no, bro, you don't need to do anything. It means that he won't be able to play too many spells and we want to keep him at one. Worst case, we play Cruelty in two turns. <laughs> Top 250 mythic, learning how the game works with protection. Like, I'm baffled. Like, jokes aside, he should really know how it works, especially with Scrap against sweepers. Like, the, bro, it's it's one of the highest places in the world. That's crazy. But mythic is a good place to learn, I guess. So, uh, we'll go with Addict. Is there any downside to playing it later? I don't think there is. So we will go like this because sometimes they will try to pump the Kami or make different plays. So it means whatever they draw, they might not be able to play it. Like if they tap to mana, they draw Katilda. See, they do it because they really want to pump the Kami, non-token creature. And now we split their game plan in half. So I think we should be winning this one, especially that the dog dies to Toxir very nicely. Weaver, all right, maybe not yet, maybe not yet, but it will be there. I could discard this, but let's go with Invasion. I like my Slug Master. <laughs> Alright, uh, we will go like this. He can double block, but I don't think he will. Especially that we can then choose the target and basically kill both of them, right? Because Weaver doesn't buff anymore. So Toxer Tox might still die, but that will be a lot of mana. And those creatures are weak, so when Weaver dies, the companion dies, and they don't have way to answer Toxer. Um, that was, that was fun. Killing meta tier 1 deck with Toxil always feels great. And we're against Pant Toxic probably. Alright, so we we will need those Depopulates. Let's see if we can have enough time to play this. Hopefully. One Depopulate won't be enough, but I hope the second one will do it. And we are still not hitting our land, man. It's one six of the deck. I would expect a third land. I didn't assume that we'll miss all of the draws, but it's going this way. All right, that's extremely important. Let's go with this one. All right, if that was countered, <laughs> I would not be happy, man. All right, all right. We are, we, it, we are fighting through the Shuffler, but we are getting there. The land we drew it was absolutely insanely perfect. All right, so far we are playing cards. That's what I want. So we will go with the Swamp. Do I want to discard something so I can reanimate on, it on the next turn? All right. Sure. So we just want to discard it. I want more mana. This way we can try to do more stuff. I don't think we'll have enough for make this appear, right? In case they play it. Annex center, that's perfect. He tapped out. He still has the mana. So that's a little bit disturbing. I hope he plays more. Hmm. Oh, that's good. The transformation really helps us right now. Because even if he counters stuff, we are still kind of okay, right? Let's go. Is that a counter spell, my friend? Of course. <laughs> no, it's not. So it means his whole board dies and I'm getting free stuff every turn and he's out. He needs to basically poison us from uh, just proliferate right now. Alright, I mean, we have double blockers, we also have Celestus, and we are getting uh, Annex every turn. I wonder if he realizes that we will get this creature every turn. <laughs> Annex. No blockers. Tamiya safekeeping, sure. That's okay. Alright, it's indestructible. So it can block, but we can still get a token, right? So that's pretty cool. 
Are there creatures? There are, but not a great one. Not great ones, I mean. Alright, so let's attack this. We don't have a lot of time, but if we flip this, that will be easier. Yep. And now we will get two damage. I mean, I think he could do this, right? Couldn't he? Whatever. Uh, do we go for cruelty? That's the big question, because we can discard something from his hand. But I think we want to go into the night time. That helps us uh, streamline draws a little bit. And here is the Toxir, so we don't need stuff. I could try to discard it. Maybe that was better. Yeah, that was probably a better idea. But I just like doing it at instant speed, you know? Alright, here's the Emperor. Let's see how insanely toxic this will get. Because I think he can protect it anyway. That was not correct. Man, that's really high mythic. Why would you play like this? He can deal poison for... Oh, Alright, I don't know, man. It doesn't feel great. Like, he's losing stuff. Uh, first, let's, let's get this trigger. It doesn't change much because we need to target NOA first, but it's okay. Alright, so Toxer is in the in the graveyard. We can flip the Torvada, which will help a little bit. Let's play Mirex. Uh, how do we want to kill him? Because we need to start thinking about this man. That was his own play. He didn't like it so much that he just gave up. That was a very strange game, <laughs> but I'll take the win. I will money gamut. I don't think that that is the, the good one. And we might go with Portal of Fire right? When we cycle some cards, I... Like, Kaya is also amazing, but we need to choose one of those. Let's have some fun in Magic. Alright. Celestia. That's an interesting one. Not what I expected. Let's go with Rafin. Informant. I don't need more. And I want untap plants in case I draw something. So we need to dig into some, you know, good value cards. Oh, alright, alright. Now I see. Oh man, we are drawing a lot of lands. I mean a lot of lands. I will still attack. Theoretically we can try to go into 9 at some point in the game, but that's not really what we want. Yeah, like we need some good cards, man. Kami, sure. And that will be enchantment or not? One damage to my face. I think we go like this. It's a bit risky because this one has trample, but as you can see, it's fine. And I do not mind trading. I guess we are doing some pressure, but it's not the main point, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, we cannot really block because he will pump it, so it will be at least 3-3, probably higher. I would love to not show priority, so I will try to click pretty quickly, because that's the Emperor turn and everyone in Standard knows it. He has definitely something. Oh, the second one is not great. I was a bit slow, I always forget the second one. Alright, so one of the Kamis is gone. We can still pump the Informer and force him to double spell if he wants to get the thing. And let's play like this. Alright, we make our draws a little bit better, we play the planes so he doesn't know any of those two cards. And now we can pump. We do not need to attack and we say go, we make stop to fake a two mana removal spell because, you know, it's not like it will change the whole situation, but it's definitely something that he needs to consider at least. Especially when splitting damage for Emperor. Alright, I guess he will get all the answers. Three creatures in the board. That's the magical number, but can we survive? A bit sloppy on the faking thing. Alright, I'll take four damage, that's fine. 
All right, one, two, three, go. Uh, render inert. That's something we can cycle and make Kami a little bit weaker. Uh, we can definitely go with the portal. I think we should be drawing something. Life gain is also pretty important. Yeah, I think we just go render nerd. Try to get rid of all the counters. It's not the big deal, but it slows him a little bit. And I mean, here we are. Here we are. All right, a bit, a bit scary, but we are at seven mana already. We will have restoration. We have one good draw, hopefully from the top. And we are at 20. He also cannot really attack with those two. Doc probably can go. Catilda is a scary thing, that's for sure. That might be our doom. And as you can see, he doesn't have great attacks. He probably just should attack with everything, honestly. It's probably the play. We are one mana short on Portar. Alright. That will be an interesting one. Unfortunately, Portar won't kill everything, and that's a biggie. He should know that I don't have removal at this point, because I would remove something ten times over already. Alright, so 9-9. Nine, nine. He can make a 2 turn lethal easily. And we cannot kill this unless we draw a removal finally. We didn't so far in the whole game, but still. Oh boy, do we die on this turn already? I don't know how many he has, but it's a lot. Do I die? I think I die. No. <laughs> Close, but he can just attack with everything, right? And that will be enough. Because it's 1 3 20. Okay, my friend. Not a good draw on our part. Uh, with reanimator decks, it's like this. So even though we are not hitting our mana and we take all the mirrors from the deck basically every time, <laughs> uh, it's still pretty fine. I think we can scrap it and get it to the win. Mono black, alright. That's an interesting one. We can lose some tempo and fix the issue. I will, because we have some Emperors in the deck. So the faster we do it, the better. And if he opened with one drop, I would probably have to go for the throat. Let's go. Let's eat the first removal. I would guess it might be a cut down. Let's see. That Something definitely is going our way right now. All right, that's the better case. Uh, let's go with... I mean, we don't need double Mirex. One should be enough. Alright, that's why I like Guardian of Bernalia. It's really hard to answer and gives you gets you ahead in tempo. Normally I, the board would be empty right now. He traded card and that's still here. And at some point you always can decide that, yeah, I don't need it. And the fact that you can use uh, Cruelty and still in, at instant speed discard something is also pretty cool. For example, you can uh, first see if it resolves and then discard the card. Like, they need to counterspell it first and then you answer with the effect. Alright, they really want to kill it. Sure. They are not playing creature, so even though sure that is super scary, uh, I need 5 mana. So let's go like this. I think they decided we are some kind of aggro and we are trying to kill them, which cannot be further from truth. I like Mirex. We can just keep attacking with this one. Because I don't care about his life total. All I care about is just having uh, good cards from top like Portal. Perfect! That's, <laughs> that's a really nice target. I love it. That's also an least possibility at some point. Alright. So I think we go like this, man. Uh, we are at 21, so the tutor doesn't hurt really, really much. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a cool art. Alright, so he's at 5. He can sweep the board. It, there's no choice here, so I guess we can let him play. Uh, attacking doesn't serve any purpose, so we are not attacking. So they can kill creatures or just go Geek's Command and try to burst us. Yep, they can kill everything or at least try. And he won't do it. So I think... 
That will be an interesting one. He can top deck two lands and go for a bridge, in which case portal might be not enough yet. But we'll see. Uh, destroy each creature, sure. I will. He could force a sacrifice, and I would have to sacrifice the guardian, which would be probably a better play. But yeah, I guess this one is super tempting, especially that we have only two cards in the end. So, you know, every card we discard really gets him closer to winning. Here's the portal. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Do we want invasion? How much power do I have? Not much. Cruelty? I think it's just invasion. It's simply better. All right. It taps, right? Always. He stepped out fully, so we attack first, so we don't miss damage. It might be relevant. Now we discard the portal, and we go invasion. And now the portal is here. We can also get Mirex, but I will go with the portal this one time. <laughs> and of course, this is out. And at the next turn, we are getting our own cool obliterator. Man, we actually get it from two sources. Oh, I wish I had more stuff in the... Let's let's try to go for the upkeep stuff. Maybe we draw something cool. Yep, this is happening. Let's draw a card. Nah, nah, no sense in doing this, really. Let's just, let's just waste it. I, I was thinking about the Mirex. It's actually interesting decision the game is not over because he can hit huge things with breach on the next turn he just, he already got one of the top decks he needed let's get rid of the swamp i guess and probably invasion of tolvada right sure yeah he just needs to top deck a land and he will go super crazy However, we will get good targets for the portal, right? Because we need a lot of creatures and some of the creatures like Toxir will be on our side, in our graveyard. So is this still a bit risky for him? He can feel to throw in our Mirax, so this plan goes away, but I don't think we'll need it really. He decided to go for the Barnes, that's super weird. I don't see benefit from this play. I cannot at least. So let's just go with this one. If we can flip, that should help. I think he's roping on purpose, honestly. I think he didn't draw what he wanted and he rage quit. I'm a bit disappointed. Mono black roping on purpose. Uh, definitely not what we enjoy, but it's okay. So uh, let's start attacking. Actually, we could enlist, but let's just go this way. I mean, all right, I will enlist. I really want to see the cards, so even if he removes this, that's fine. Uh, Emperor? Emperor is okay. He might hit Emperor, but it's okay. Because if he plays the land into the bridge, uh, he can actually go for it. Alright, here is the flip, so we will get even more stuff every turn. The Broken Sky. Man, the art is absolutely amazing. I love it. So, we say go, I guess. I want to keep the indestructible thing. And as you can see, the countdown has started. Let's go with Mirex. As you know, tokens will also get the buff from the Broken Sky. This will be Enlist. And yeah, we need to manually attack with the rest. We want the poison for sure. So we tap this one because this is the only creature that doesn't have cool effect. The populate maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I, we don't need those cards. For sure. All right, I think we'll, uh, he will just rope us again. So I will cut the video probably again, I guess. Yes, and that should be our win. I mean, if our deck is making, you know, mono black meta, just raging and quitting the game, I mean, we are doing something nice. I think he didn't like the fact that his own obliterator destroyed him. And we're going back into the ladder very nicely. Do you think, see anything special about the hand? I see, it's a mulligan. <laughs> that was that was absolutely horrible draw. 
Triple Kaya, all of the Kayas from my deck in my opening hand. Uh, no, thank you. I honestly think this is the responsible choice. It's super cool to have cruelty, but I think I might die before I play it if I remove other things, you know? Like, I need the populate, especially that I'm on the draw. Uh, Restoration of Eganja is a good draw. It will be very, very helpful. It's not the perfect draw. Vanguard. It, I guess it's not Talia, but Talia might still happen. <laughs> Uh, let's go like this. Uh, I actually drew very good cards. I drew missing parts of my curve. So go for the throat is big. And here she is. Told you. Told you. That's an interesting choice. If I kill the vanguard, I slow the damage, but I need to survive one more turn and restoration is dead. If I miss, I can use her. go for the throat as my next turn's play. I, I hope I will have another turn. I might be wrong. Wow, so good at magic. And we also had to resolve it before that. Yeah, why wouldn't you play Search of Salvation in your Talia deck? <laughs> Makes perfect sense. I mean, uh, it works if you have perfect, literally the most amazing perfect curve and you are also on the play. Yep. This Deck cannot perform better than this. This is literally the free win that you get. And that is the populate there, which will not happen because we are on the on the draw. Alright. <laughs> Let's go another. Oh I'm salty after this one. Alright, our opponent goes first. However, we have the populate. We don't have white mana at all. And so our draw is super sketchy. He will get rid of the populate out guess, right? It could be Invasion of Torvada, but it's so early that he'll probably go for this one. Uh, the fact that we cannot hit our mana is pretty abysmal. We have mostly planes, I think, in the deck. We should hit one. Uh, we won't. <laughs> we won't, that's all I will say. Let's go for the colored mana first. Definitely not drawing what we need right now. Here's the Trespasser that will flip because we have no place. We have a lot of cards that we could be playing. For example, this one. That's why we used Mirex last. It's something. It's not perfect, but it's something. It also lets us discard, so if we ever get to 5 mana, we can instantly reanimate something. So that might be our way out. So, which Wincon I want to use? Kaya is nice, but probably Portal is better. This way he doesn't know if I have a target for reanimation, which hopefully will make his place a bit worse. He really wants this in the, in the graveyard so he can exile it or, you know, something else. So that's not what we want. All right, no creatures, right? So five damage only. Imagine if we had double white in, in this game, <laughs> that would make things so much easier. Or if we didn't lose our depopulate as well. Yep, more of those, I love it. So, uh, so far abysmally bad draw on our part. We will also flip, just to make sure. So, yeah, looking very interesting so far. That's one of the things with reanimator decks. You basically need to hit a lot of stuff in good order. I will. I mean, uh, we are never casting Emperor Man. With this draw, two color deck will never have a single white mana. Alright, I mean, I can do it all day, my friend. I only need those two cards. So he's down to nearly nothing. Uh, he will exile all both. He, he basically wants to pressure us to get our reanimation targets first out. But he doesn't know we always have one more. All we need is white mana from top and it's okay and we win. But can are we good so are we so good at magic to draw it? And here we are. We are actually good at magic. So all we need to do. I could also use Guardian to scry. Uh, let's not mess it up because we won the game right now. Alright, let's go into combat phase. We enlist. We use this one. This way we get scry. It's not super needed, but it is kinda needed. Celestus is decent, but that's not the card we want. 
Also, there might be some interaction from him, maybe. Oh, right. I need to discard the thing. I nearly <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I actually nearly forgot about this one. I could be attacking, of course, but I don't really need it. I'm getting Trespasser every turn, man. And it's just a start, and they cannot answer this card. They have nothing. So they need to burst us in like one turn, but we'll start live game. Especially if they don't play a spell, we live game too, right? Oh, right, there are no creatures. So I guess we'll be defensive then. Scrap that. But if we can flip it on t in two turns, uh, we can actually start life linking with the tokens. Yeah, I guess. The only reason to make this play over just double attack, I think, is a cut down, but we'll see. Alright, uh, let's go with whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's why it's in the deck, by the way. <laughs> I guess we won after all of this. Man, I lost uh, hope at some point, but we did it. That, that was pretty cool.